All right. We are to be going forward. Seven AM. Well, Central Square. My, there are a lot of new buildings here. It's quite different from Heimdall. Oh. Orcus Tower is particularly impressive. There may be plenty of new buildings, but we've got a lot of historic ones too. Since Erebonia and Calvard used to govern this place together, it's got influences from both countries. I imagine so. That large bell there is rather impressive, too. And there are quite a few orbital cars on the road. It's just what I'd expect from one of the most cosmopolitan cities in Zemuria. Finally seen the light, huh? I don't think anywhere in Erebonia is a match for this city when it comes to modern technology and orbital cars. You're right. Perhaps... But the capital also has plenty of bubble cars. The main streets are always so congested. The only way to get anywhere is to take the train, the trams. Well, uh, population-wise, the capital is 880,000. In Crossbell, damn it, in terms of modernization, Roa is a very technological advanced city as well. Oh, but we're not trying to say Crossbell isn't great or anything. I'm simply saying, if you compare the cities by one aspect at a time, why can't you just be impressed? This is the center of economics, international trade, and, the cult and culture for the whole western half of Zemiria. We've got the best technology in the world here, including the oval net. Heck, we even got oval air conditioning all over the place. That certainly is impressive. It's sure that not many places have implemented the Orbital Network. <laughs> what? Do you think I'm being childish? No, I think it's great. You're right, this place is special in terms of technology, economics and history. Once you start going around, they'll understand soon enough. Ah. Good point. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, don't we need to see Governor General? We need to go to Orcus Tower. Alright, let's head north to the administrative district. Orcus Tower, Governor General's office. 250 arch, it's totally unexpected. I suppose this place must be quite important. Volume wise, the Valvoline Palace is bigger. But in terms of height, this building is the tallest in the world. Yeah, but I hear it has a ton of empty, unused floors in it. I wonder why there's so many people running around here first thing in the morning though. It's probably because of the inspection team. Oh yeah, most likely. They're, they're to arrive just past noon, right? Yeah, we need to find out how this affects our special operations missions. Let's go talk with the Governor General right away. Yeah, move out.
In terms of both technology and expanse, I miss that area. That well, it was built by the richest person in the world, the former president of Crosswell, as well as the CEO of the International Bank. You are from Close Military Branch Campus, correct? Military Academy Branch Campus, correct? Yes, we are. Class. Yes, we are Class Seven Special Operations. I was told you'd be visiting. Please accompany me to the elevator over there. The governor general is waiting in his office on the twentieth floor. I yawn a lot during these videos. It's not my first time seeing it, but it's still breathtaking. I'm sure the view from the top is even more impressive. It certainly is something. There's no view quite like this in the Empire. Is that so? Prosper changed so much since this tower was built. Oh? Really? A very popular people declared independence at an international conference. Then he went to war with both the Empire and the Republic. If he hadn't come if it hadn't done if he hadn't done all that, we'd still be. I see. My apologies. I neglected in my research. Well, it's all in the past now. Let's hurry then go meet the Jacobna General. Yeah, let's go. The general's room is through the second set of doors. Please proceed down the hall. Understood. Let's go. Ah. Only one way to go. Rina and the others were checked for security reasons. Well, duh. Afterwards, they were finally led to the Governor General's office. Pardon us, Governor General. Ah, yes. Do come in. He is not actually here. <laughs> That's not like. It's good to see you again. Excuse us. Oh, never mind. Yes, yes, it's, it's nice, nice to see, to see you, both you both again, too. He changed his outfit. Governor General Rufus Alberia. Though I think it's my first time meeting the other two. I am the Governor General of the Province of Crossbell, Rufus Alberia. It's a pleasure to meet the new Class 7 of Thor's branch campus. It's been some time since I last saw you, but I can tell at a glance how different you look. You've definitely gotten taller, but more importantly, you've really matured. Thank you. Though, I'd have to say Eusis has changed even more than me. Yes, so I hear. Speaking of, you seem to have changed as well. And you haven't changed at all, Governor General. My height is approximately the same as it's always been. Uh, Ali! So tactless. <laughs> Granted, your blunt manner of speaking hasn't changed. It seems you have some good friends now, though. It's an honor to meet you, Your Excellency. I am Kurt Vander, the second child of the Vander House. Ah, yes. Your father has helped me out a number of times in the past. It's unfortunate you didn't join the main campus, but I'm sure there are valuable opportunities to be had at the branch campus as well. Thank you. And you are... Una Crawford. Originally from the Crossbell Military Police Academy, I transferred to Thor's branch campus. 
<laughs> oh, I've heard about you. You're acquainted with First Lieutenant Orlando and Second Lieutenant Seeker, correct? Further, Major Revelt was the one who recommended you to the Academy. I'm sure you've gone through much lately, but I think you'll find your new school to be a good match for you. I believe it is a good blend of the perspectives of both Erebonia and Crossbell. Yes. I'll do my best. Alright then. I'll make my report now. We reported to the Governor General to Governor General Rufus that the branch campus has begun its field exercises. Very well. I pray to Adios, you may find success. You find success. I'm sure you're already aware, but an inspection team will be visiting from the Imperial mainland. Despite the fact that we've raised our security level to maximum, I've yet I, I yet have my concerns. The society has been active and cryptid has and a cryptid has suddenly appeared. What? We received a list of special operations missions requests. Outside of the normal request, Irene also received an additional document labeled Crucial Investigation Report. Crucial Investigation Report investigate the reports of cryptid sightings in the Crossbell province. Is that? What's a cryptid? I feel like I've heard the term, some term before. Cryptids are extremely powerful monsters with mysterious powers. During the Civil War, a number of them appeared around the, the Empire. But they're showing up in Crossbell now? Indeed, it seems one was spotted just the other day on the mountain path to the north. But I'm told this isn't the first time they've appeared in Crossbell. Have you perchance heard about them before, you know? Yes, I did know they showed up in the Empire too, but... I've heard a few of them appeared after the Declaration of Independence a year and a half ago. I see. But why would they appear, reappear now? Could it have something to do with the society? Given their actions in Sutherland, they should most, like, most definitely be our, to our top suspects. I hope I can ask the branch campus to be on the lookout. Understood. I'll relay your message to the others. Do we need to investigate the cryptid on the mountain path as well? No, that one has already been defeated. I'd like for you to investigate other areas in which they were seen. Already defeated? Was it the Imperial Army is doing? No. A certain wanted fugitive took care of it. Ah. A wanted fugitive? Instructorine? Yeah. However, it wouldn't do to keep relying on a wanted man to clean things up for us. Therefore, I, s I expect good news from all of you in regard to this task. And with that, I bid you all good luck, Ashton Chipolia and members of class of the new class 7. Understood. After that, Rina and the others left Rufus to his preparations for the inspection team. Oh, before you go, a small bit of news from Lecter. It seems there's a possibility the societies which is here in Crossbell. <coughs> really? They've traced the radio recordings back to somewhere in Crossbell. <coughs> it could be a uh, false lead, but Intelligent Division is looking into it. Understood. I'll be on the lookout myself. She's a difficult woman to deal with, so do be careful. Also, it seems like you've been in contact with Yusuf recently. Yeah, mostly through letters and oral messages. We haven't seen each other in a while since we've ha each been so busy. Hmm, I see. Have you not talked with him since? I haven't. You can speak about my younger brother when the opportunity presents itself. Though I'm sure we'll have much more to discuss besides just him. <laughs> Understood. When the opportunity presents itself.
What were you talking with Governor General Rufus about? Was it about Eustace Albert? Yeah? yeah, more or less. Eustace. He's the Governor General Rufus's brother, correct? Younger brother. He's, act, he's the acting head of the Albrea Dukedom, which oversees the Crossland province. He's also a member of the Old Class 7. I see. Jeez, is everyone from the Old Class 7 some mega hotshot? Even that Elliot guy is the son of some big wig in the Imperial Army, right? I guess so. Though we may not measure up to the allies that Fugitive has helping. That's. I've been wondering. You seem to have an idea who this fugitive could be. <laughs> but of course, he's the true hero of Crossbell. He beat down an evil cult and arrested the dictator mayor. Excuse me? Before the annexation, the Crossbell Police Department had a division called the Special Support Section. The man we're talking about was its leader. He and the other members overcame so much together. And now, he's a fugitive in his own home. Lloyd Bannings. Instructor Randy was a member of the SSS too, actually. <sighs> Instructor Randolph worked alongside someone like that? So, if this man is a fugitive, what has he done? Did he resort to terrorism in an attempt to free Crossbow? Don't even joke about that! I mean, sure, he's in hiding now, but he's just trying to help Crossbell get his freedom back. Not to mention, he's helping people in trouble and hunting down cryptids. There's absolutely no way someone like him is a criminal. He and his friends are the ones in the right. Uh, he certainly seemed like a just person. Yeah, he couldn't be farther from being the dangerous fugitive they painted him as. Wait, you both know him? Yeah, we fought him back before he was branded a fugitive. Each of us refused to back down, but in the end, he came out on top. The weight of what he was shouldering his flawless teamwork. I told him it was a tie at the time, but looking back, there's no question I lost. Well, I beg to differ. You get it, Instructor. There's no doubt he and the rest of the SSS are Crossbell's true heroes. Way more than a certain Chevalier I could name. Hmm. But that doesn't change the fact that he's a criminal. <laughs> like I said, I don't see him as a criminal at all. Though the Governor General certainly seems to. I know you don't want to hear this, but don't even think about going to help him out, okay? I know that, even Randy's holding himself back. So I'll give these special operations missions my all. Since Randy isn't allowed to go anywhere, I'll help lessen Lloyd's burden for him. So she knew about Randy. You cert you're certainly energetic all of a sudden. I'm glad to see you finally return to your usual self. I agree. But that's strange. Lloyd Bannings. I heard he is on the run with that girl. Even if he gets help from the Divine Blade of Wind or Yin. The them two on your ass. How long can he keep running like this? Not with them two on your ass. Eventually they're going to catch up. Oh, you'll have to show up. Hmm. Another event? Well, wow. fancy meeting you here, Reen. All right. Huh? Oh. Marcius Regnitz. Marcius! <laughs> it's good to see you. Did you just get here? 
Oh, no. I arrived yesterday and came here first thing this morning. My inspection work starts today, and just like your field exercises. My fellow inspectors and I need to go greet the Governor General. Ah, I see. We just got back from meeting with him, actually. Good luck. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm ready for him. Hey, um... Is he...? Yes, he's also a member of the old class 7, as well as the son of the Imperial Governor. Everybody's some big wig son. Governor Regnet's son? I don't know who that is, but he sure sounds like a big deal. Oh, you're that black rabbit girl. I'd heard you enrolled at the branch campus, but you've sure changed. Nice to meet you too as well. I'm Marcus Regnitz. I'm here in Crossbell on business for the Government Accountability Inspectorate. That's not, that's a quite that's quite a mouthful. It's an organization that keeps check on the various governmental agencies from a judicial standpoint. Is that so? It sounds like you choose a hard route to get the worst at the worst time. Ali, come on. Rude as usual. <laughs> no, she's absolutely right. We're in charge of making sure there's no wrongdoing in all the government agencies. Including the Imperial Government and the Governor General. Sheesh. It seems Hard Road was an understatement. Yet, it is the one he chose all this. Seems like you're doing well, all things considered. Yeah, at times it feels a bit like the walls are closing in. But it's the same for everyone these days, right? Yeah, pretty much. Machias! We're clear to visit now! Oh, Reina. Let me introduce you. This is my classmate, Reed, and these are his students. Oh man, for real? I've heard so much about you from Machias. I'm flattered. We shouldn't keep the Governor General waiting. These guys are busy too, so let's talk some other time. Yeah, you're right. We'd better get ready. Oh yeah, you're here for field exercises. I'm sure it'll be tough, but give it everything you've got. I'll give you a call tonight, Reed. Good luck to you all. Yeah. See you later, Marcus. You too, Reina. Farewell. Good luck. He's young, but seems quite... I mean, he seems much more grounded than his superior. However, the inspector is full of talented people, so I'm sure that his superior is good too. Though he seems a little inexperienced to be taking on the Imperial Government or the Governor General, yeah, but that would be hard for anyone. Our class 7 predecessors all seem to be really challenging themselves, huh? I don't know how to say this, but I'm starting to feel really motivated. I couldn't sound as enthusiastic as you if I wanted to, but I agree. So, should we get started on our special operation missions? Right. Let's check the request document one more time. Epstein Tech Support. We're looking for help to resolve a sensitive issue. More details will be provided at Rhineford HQ building in the Harbour District. The Development Chief of the Epstein Foundation. All its and ends. We're short handed at the moment and require help auditing stores in Crossbell City. Details will be provided by the head of the CPD's Security Division, Captain Kate at Central Square. The Great Crossbell Bake Off. I'm looking for ideas to help me revolutionize the world of bread. What? I appreciate any, uh, any help you can give. Come see me at Morgs in the West Street. Bennett. P.S. Don't mention just to ask any under, circums uh, under any circumstances. Why? Why not? Sounds like we have an ample number of requests this time. 
considering it was the Governor General who made them, they seem reasonable. Well, he is the Governor General of Crossbell. He wouldn't make unrealistic requests. Looks like the crippled one isn't very urgent. Yeah. We show investigation reports of cryptid sightings in Crossbell Province. Due to the large cryptid that was seen in the northern mountain regions the other day, there are concerns in the following regions. Southern Crossbell City and the sandy shore of Lake Elm along the Ursula intersection. Of the East Crossbell Highway, the swampy lake area ahead of the boat shack. Please investigate both points. The only one that was actually seen was the one in the mountain region. Since the request was given to us, I guess we just need to check the, check two other areas where the cryptids have appeared. The special support section has terminated cryptids in both of these areas in the past. Since they're kind of far out, should we finish the requests that are in the city first? Yeah, since these are required, let's circle the city first. Since this place is huge, it'll probably take us all day. Let's just get Let's just go to the area specified by the request. Good point. So, that would be the harbor, East Street, and West Street. West Street? Oh, you're alright. What's wrong, you know? Ahem, it's nothing. I see. Could it be? How about we start at the harbor first? Then we can take East Street to go through to go through the Central Square and finish up on West Street. That's what I recommend. Yes, judging from the map, it seems to be the most efficient course. Hmm, I feel like she's hiding something. Just let it be. We have a required quest in the harbor, so let's go check it out. You know, you're in charge of leading the way. Understood. Let's go. Obtain crucial investigation report. You can check your request at any time from the quest tab of your notebook. The crucial investigation report can be viewed from the event tab in the item menu. That's not the way I'm supposed to go. Alright. I have I just straight ahead. Head to another district. Go to the harbor. Crossbell Harbor. This is the Northeast Harbor area. The lake you see over there is Lake Elm. The view from the park is breathtaking. This area has many modern buildings. Yes, this area also serves as a business district. Many companies have offices here and a lot of imperial companies have been moving in recently too. One of the biggest buildings belongs to the RF Group. The RF Group, the largest manufacturer in the Empire. Didn't we receive a mandatory request from them? We should head there before we go to the other districts. That's... Yeah, that's the Mich Misham cruise ship. I think it's preparing for its first trip of the day. If it's intriguing you, we should go check it out. Then let us begin our patrol. 
Jesus Christ, slow down, what are you? You're not flicking hard. Noodles. Sadis, you just all over the place. Initiate cooking mode. Better than I expected. Now we're cooking. It turned out really good. Allow me to prepare something. Uh, interesting. Now, let's, let's begin. begin. Huh. This, this went well. well. Initiate cooking mode. Better than I expected. Now we're cooking. I guess it's probably Reen then. Huh, it worked. I guess so. Let's, Let's do, do this. this. All right, I did. Let's, Let's do, do this. this. Thanks for waiting. waiting. Nope, not read. Event over here. Oh, huh, this building is. It looks like an old office building. It appears to be locked. Hmm. It seems like someone's inside. This building, could it be? Quite bustling, considering how early it is in the morning. Sure is. That's because the boats here take you straight to Michelin. Michelin. It's a rather famous theme park, cabled from the field exercise camp. I believe its full name is Michelin Wonderland. Yep, its mascot Michi is super popular with kids and adults alike. Tourism had been on the decline, but since the annexation, there have been a ton of visitors from Erebonia. I see. I've never been to a team park before. They were closed last year, so I didn't have any first hand experience. Same here. Since we're already here, it'd be a nice it'd be a shame not to check it out at least once. Huh? Is that a soldier? It seems they are checking people as they disembark. That's the crossbow military police, right? Yeah, but what are they looking for? It appears the rear military police is here as well. You're right, but still why? I think people being searched are the ones who stayed at the forest or hotel. Yes, in which case, they are probably increasing the security post as the inspection team is coming. That makes sense. If I remember correctly, there's a railway that goes directly to Michelin through the medical college. In which case, it's not unusual for the RMP to be involved. True. But it's strange that they're only checking the guests who are returning. Either way, I guess we won't have our luxury have the luxury to go to Michelin during our special operations. Let's finish up and move on. Yeah, yeah, we know. Alright, let's go. Hey, look! There's some fish there! I'm up! Alright! 
Let's go! There! Got one. Yeah, it got away. I done that one. There! Got one. This is good. That was easy. All right, a big one. Puffer. Hey, you drop my droplet. Rainford Group, Crossbell Branch. Looking up at it like this, it really is quite tall. Yes, it is not quite as tall as the tower, however. This building was originally used by a well-known bank, the National Bank of Crossbell, the largest bank in the continent, once run by former President Croix. Yes, right before the Declaration of Independence, there was a bombing here. Since then, the building was vacated. On a side note, the repairs to the building were finished last fall. The IBC has downsized, but they should still be there should still be tenants, as well as the Epstein Foundation who made the request. Alright, let's head inside. Let's ask the receptionist to introduce us to the new chief. Welcome to the IR building. What can I help you with today? Well, actually, can I explain the way here to handle a request on the Epstein Foundation? Ah, then you must be. I was told you would be coming. Unfortunately, the Epstein Foundation branch isn't open quite the city. Ah. It seems a bit too, a bit early. What shall we do? It would be a waste of time to simply wait here. If it's alright, I could contact you when the person in charge gets here. I'll let you know. Are you sure? That'd be a big help. Thanks. Yeah, I'll write down my number for you. Class 7's contact information will provide it to receptionist. Alright, I'll contact you once they've arrived. Thanks. We look forward to your call. Now we can keep patrolling the town while we wait. Well then, let's be on our way. It seems we've investigated the entire harbor area by now. We may need to postpone the request from the foundation. We'll wait for the call before we decide that. Let's head to East Street for now. Once we head south from the harbor, the cityscape will change, just like that change to what exactly? You'll see soon enough. I'll give I'll leave the guide into you. Got it.
Crosswell East Street. I'm surprised. We're just one block over, but the cityscape is so different. This is more of an Eastern type style, Eastern style district. Crossville is known for being a melting pot of different cultures. You don't see this in Erebonia, do you? Yes, it truly is the greatest trade city on the continent. Over there, is that the Bracer Guild building? Hmm, so it is. The prestigious A rank Bracer, the Divine Blade of Wind, was affiliated with this branch. Unfortunately, I heard it's currently closed for the time being. I see. Huh. The signs are still up, yes, but there are reasons for that. We don't have any requests nearby, so there isn't any place here we need to visit. But there are a lot of tasty restaurants around here, so maybe we should take a stroll. Crossbell branch of the Bracer Guild closed last fall. Yeah, I heard it was the Governor General's decision. Though the building still owned by the Guild and the Bracer still stopped by here. I see. They're treated differently from the Guild in the capital. Well, technically, the Guild is an international organization. In that sense, there are political considerations behind their treatment. Sure know a lot. Alright, intelligent division. Well yes, my apologies. You don't need to apologize, honestly it's kind of impressive. Anyway, I wonder how the receptionist is doing. He's a really fun person. He's got dreadlocks and a really fun boy in style. He sounds like quite the quite a character. The Bristol Guild has quite a collection of characters. I can't deny that. But this is where that. Green found the life of Tomatonio, part two. I'm not going through all this. Feel free to pause and read if you want to. What do you have, sir? Things I have a lot of. Hmm? That sign. Oh, in the valley, yeah. Right, salmon. All right. In the valley. Let's go. It's my turn. Let's go. I shall go. Again, I press the wrong button. I should send it and send it in again. I will be like it. Arts and art events, nice. The 
there's supposed to be something for me in here. Ah, there it is. Dragon fried rice. I got this in the bag. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. Initiate cooking mode. Yes, prepared as written. Initiate cooking mode. An unexpected result. <laughs> Fiery rice wall. Allow me to prepare something. <laughs> this turned out well. Navali. Where was it? Oh. No. Yeah, my bad. What the hell is this shop? It's got machine guns and bazookas. Uh, next to those high quality explosives is an Arcus 2 without a serial number. <laughs> they even have random pieces of jewelry. Instructor, does this place have any relation to Jingle Shop? It does. As it so happens, this is their main store. And that woman is the is that woman the owner? That's probably Jingo's mother. Might be good, might be good to introduce ourselves. Six cases of tinted caliber AP over here. Is it ever a pain to take inventory in a warehouse this wouldn't have to deal with this crap if they hadn't chased all of us undesirables out of the downtown district. Hmm, some customers. <laughs> it's not often I see a celebrity in my shop. Working out, Ash and Chevalier? You know who I am? You must know I were here, huh? Yeah, I heard it all from my daughter. You're from Thor's main branch camp. Thor's branch campus. She promised you were good customers who wouldn't be shy about black market products. She doesn't do about praise that she doesn't do about praise that good on the regular. It's usually only reserved for is that information not especially sensitive. You admitted to negotiating with Jaegers. I knew you were a broker, but I didn't know you were a broker. How was the shop allowed to even be here? <laughs> I got his smoke effects. Almighty Adios, I suppose you just have to be born with common sense. My name is known throughout the industry as one who does business with militaries across the continent and with Jaeger Corps alike. <clears throat> they want something and I ha have it. It isn't hard for me to do as I please. The trade with the East from here is blocked on paper, but that won't stop me from going through a third country. I've heard some companies even thrive with their customers, so I need it. So you need. It's a bit unnerving how expansive the black market is. That's what happens when the government turns a blind eye. So I'm curious about which companies she means exactly. Oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure I've heard the SSS mention in a place like this. Really? I mean, it was back when Crossbow was a state. Anyway, you guys are gonna buy something or what? I've heard you do good business with my daughter, so I'll cut you a fair deal. Yikes. Oh, I need two dry sun. Whoa, I have to buy that? Fortunately, I can buy it. The gloves, right? Mm. 
I'm going to have Swift Wind. Now see, I need Cavalry Edge R. First attack R to use deals plus 50 damage. Attacks and crafts can kill. That's too good. Alright, so that's enough for Ashley. Oh wait, well not especially enough. I need... How convenient that this is right across the world. Back at the central square. Hmm. There are way more people here than here. Well, this is the heart of Costa City. It has everything from department stores to overall stores and weapon shops. If we're gonna, if we're gonna, if we're gonna investigate the cryptid, we can upgrade our equipment here. And with so many people on the street, we might be able to listen to rumors and gather information. We received another mandatory request, right? It might be hard since this place is so huge, but we should loop around the, the whole area. I know I saw it earlier, but it really is quite imposing, of course. It's at least 5 arch tall. And in the database, it's listed as the Bell of Crossbell. It's said that it was created by some big shot from the Middle Ages. And that it... and that it's... Ah! Ta-da! And that's why it's a symbol of the city. It's like we have our very own personal tour guide with us. So I could swear I once heard there were three bells in total. Well, alright, I think I'll end this here, before I start this quest.